Hello, good morning students. How are you all? I hope you are fit and fine at home. Today we'll do literature. So take out your literature book and come to page number 7575. Today we'll continue with the second part, okay? Put date and put classwork. Now we'll do reading. So let's start. Peter was very frightened. He had forgotten the way back to the gate. Peter rushed into the tool shed and jumped into the can. Burr. It was full of cold water. Mr. McGregor was looking under the flower pots when Peter sneezed. Cut his shoe. Mr. McGregor was after him. In a flash, Peter jumped out of the window that was too small for Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor was tried, tired of running after Peter. He went back to his work. Peter looked around him. He could see the gate. He ran out of the gate and all the way home. Peter was not very well that evening. His mother put him to bed and made him drink some nasty medicine. But Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail had bread, milk and blackberries for him. So, reading part is over. Now, I'll explain, try to understand what is happening in the story. In the last portion, in the last video, what happened? What I taught you? That uh, Mr. Gregor, Mr. McGregor was, was after him, was after Peter. Okay, so Peter started running. Now, Peter was very frightened. Frightened means what? Peter was very afraid. He was he was that much nervous that he forgot the way to way back to the gate. Peter rushed into a tool shed. Tool shed means what? A building to store gardening tools. Okay. Peter rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a can. Look at this. He jumped into this can. And the, after jumping, what happened? Into the can. Burr. The sound kicks. Then... It was full of cold water. The can was full of cold water. Mr. McGregor was looking under the flower pots when Peter sneezed. Hatch, he will do no, that is called sneeze. So Peter sneezed. Cut issue. Mr. McGregor was after him. In a flash, Peter jumped out of the window. In a flash, suddenly Peter jumped out of the window. But Mr. McGregor was a grown-up person. No, he the window is very small so he unable to get out of the window. Mr. McGregor was tired of running after him. He started running but he was very much tired. Then he went back. Now he went back to his work. Peter looked around, looked around for, looked around him. He could see the gate. Now he saw the gate from where he entered the Mr. McGregor's garden. He ran out of the gate and all the way home he reached home after what reaching home what happened peter was not very well not very well no not in good condition he was sick that evening his mother put him on the bed and made him drink some nasty medicine nasty medicine is bad taste now but flopsy mopsy cotton tail have had what for dinner bread milk and blackberries so from this lesson what we have learned we have learned that we should follow our parents. We should obey our parents. It keeps us safe. So from today onwards, from all, not today onwards, from every day you have to follow your guardians, you follow your parents. Okay, thank you. Do it. Do the reading part.